Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? This is a, a Stephen of Oklahoma breaking news. This took place on December the 5th. Today is Friday the 13th, 2013. Stephen of Oklahoma sent this to me. And the Chinese naval vessel tried to force a U.S. warship to stop in international waters. What is going I've told you there's unrest over there. Kim Jong-un's playing with the nuke buttons, assassinating people, killing his uncle. China's moved uh, four or 5,000 troops along the North Korean border. They say it's a maneuver, but we all know they've never done it before. And China's naval vessel tried to force a U.S. warship to stop, even though it was in international waters. A, naval, a Chinese naval vessel tried to force the U.S. guided missile warship to stop in international waters recently, causing a tense military standoff in the latest case of Chinese marine time harassment, according to defense officials. The guided missile cruiser, the USS Calpins, which recently took part in the disaster relief in the operations in the Philippines, was confronted by a Chinese warship in the South China Sea near Beijing's new aircraft carrier. On the 5th of December, while lawfully operating in international waters in the South China Sea, the USS Calpins and a, and a PLA Navy vessel had an encounter that required maneuvering to avoid a collision. The incident underscores the need to ensure the highest standards of professional seamanship, including communications between vessels to mitigate the risk of unintended incident or mishap. A State Department official said the United States government issued a protest in China in both Washington and in Beijing in both the diplomatic and military channels. The USS Calpins was conducting a surveillance uh, while in international waters. The carrier had recently sailed from the port of uh, the Philippines on its northern Chinese coast into the South China Sea. According to the officials, the run-in be began after a Chinese Navy vessel sent a hailing warning <clears throat> and ordered the USS Calpins to stop. The cruiser continued on its course. It refused the order because it was operating in international waters. Then a Chinese tank landed a ship sailed in front of the USS Calpins and stopped forcing the USS Calpins to abruptly change course in what the officials said was a dangerous maneuver. According to the officials, the Calpins was conducting routine operations done to exercise its freedom of navigation near the Chinese carrier when the incident occurred about a week ago. So they might the Chinese government have felt that the United States uh, USS Calpin was a, getting a little too close to their brand new aircraft carrier, even though they were in international waters, the Chinese felt they got a little too close to their new aircraft carrier, so they sent another Navy ship out there, parked it right in front of the USS uh, Calpins, and shut it down, forcing them to have to maneuver. They had already sent a warning, warning them to stop, stop, stop. The United States paid it no attention because they knew they were operating in legal international waters. Folks, we also know that China just seized, if you will, the airspace over several islands in dispute between China and Japan, and has now declared these islands airspace theirs, when for 50 years it's been Japan's. Now, it's always been a dispute between the two countries, but abruptly they just decide they're taking it. The United States then flew two B-52 bombers over that airspace, and China then sent two jets to follow those bombers out of there. The United States says, look, you're not taking over the space. We'll fly through here anytime we want to. This is Japanese islands. But we will tell our inner, but America did back off and say, but we will tell all of our domestic flights not to fly over here. Well, that's, you know, I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it's getting real intense out there. If there's unrest in 
Asia, which was prophesied this year, and we believe that the Lord is truly showing us. You know, the Bible tells us that the Lord will do will do nothing except he revealeth his secrets to his prophets. And that's in Amos 3, 7. We're seeing prophecy after prophecy being revealed to people. Uh, and they're receiving these, whether they're apocalyptic storms, wars and rumors of wars, and nations rising against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms, and famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And of course, the Bible told us all these are the beginning of sorrows, false Christ and false prophets shall rise. So we're seeing an unbelievable amount of that. Now yesterday on our, on our don't miss our show today, because yesterday we had a record crowd. We blew all records away. We had almost 2,000 people live logged into the chat rooms. I think, it, I think we peaked out at around 940. We had 75 people accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. Uh, there is people being born again. We're shipping out Bibles to people who are in need of these for free. We're helping folks find Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you right now, why is there so much energy? Why is there so much uh, intensity? Why is there so much curiosity of the end time apocalyptic hour? It's because people can see with their own eyes that something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you serious? What? Are you serious? There's signs in the heavens. There's signs on the earth. There's there's blood and fire and vapors of smoke. I mean, we've got volcanoes. We've got earthquakes and typhoons, cyclone, hurricanes, uh, 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 tornadoes ripping through the land. With the comet Ison, uh, the situations developing with the meteorites, over top Canada, explosion this year in Russia, which damaged 1,700 buildings and injured 1,200 people. This massive explosion of a meteorite over Tucson, Arizona a couple nights ago. So we can see the solar flare activity on the sun is the highest it's been in maybe ever. And we understand that the, the, the Fukushima power plant continues to melt down in radiation, polluting the air, the land, and the sea. We continue to hear of the unrest of radical Islamic Muslims murdering and killing. And, and, and l listen to this, folks. The death toll from the Philippines uh, uh, typhoon, uh, Yolanda, which was the biggest storm to ever come up on any land from the seas. Uh, at 198 miles an hour, killing now the death toll has just reached 6,000. I want to thank Nick of New York with another 2,000 missing. And that's where the ship was at, the United States USS Calpins. It was down there in the Philippines helping these guys out. Why is China threatening our ships in, the, in international water when all they're doing is helping feed the poor, helping out the sick? going over there and rescuing the, the dying in the Philippines. China, why don't you do something for once? Why don't you do something? You're the biggest economy in the world now. And folks, let me tell you, I, I just, that's just another side thought. Uh, listen to this. Um, in California, a federal judge has ordered on Mount Soledad, the cross must come down off this mountain. It is a, it is a memorial to dead World War II soldiers. It's a memorial. It's a memorial to the dead, to those who died for the freedom of this country. And a judge in California has ordered it taken down. Are you serious? What is wrong with people? I mean, and, and while that's going on, uh, 27 Muslims have been killed now in Central Africa. Why? Because they've been going around killing Christians and killing innocent civilians. And now some of the civilians have rallied back and killed 27 of them. Central Africa is going to go up in smoke. I'm telling you, I want to thank Nick of New York also for that report. And get this, I also want to thank um, in Yemen, we got a horrible scene here. The United States of America used a drone and killed 15 people in Yemen that were going to a wedding party. They thought it was Al-Qaeda, radical Islamic Muslim militant convoy, but it wasn't. It was some folks going to a wedding. So the United States also doing things, just, just pulling the trigger at random. And this is creating more turmoil. And while that's going on, Russia 
is also concerned about the situations taking place with Syria and Assad and, and, and all of this. And, and I'm telling you right now, in Nelson Mandela's, Nelson Mandela's funeral taking place Sunday, the whole world's watching that while everything else is going up in smoke. Kind of reminds you of the, um, the mural on the Denver uh, airport wall. You see the dead uh, leopard laying there and the whole world, all these different nationalities and races of people gathered there to, uh, to pay respects and to look at the dead leopard. You might say, but, but yet look behind it. The entire, the entire uh, world is up in smoke. It's burning out of control. Nobody's noticing. Did you realize that when Nelson Mandela, uh, after his funeral, they will take down they will take the South African flag off his casket and they will put a leopard skin covering over the, over the coffin as they take him to his final resting place to be buried the next day on the 16th of December. There's a lot going on there, folks, that uh, people are starting to wonder about. Um, are you serious? I mean, there is a lot. We're going to talk about that. We've got some information. We're going to talk more about that today on our live broadcast. So don't miss today's show uh, from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be a powerful, powerful broadcast. We don't want you to miss it from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. Lord, have mercy. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Let me just say that right now. Please, call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Repent of your sins. Be born again. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. It's time to get saved. It's time to get washed in the blood. It's time to become a born again Christian. Saved by grace through faith. It's not in ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works. At least any man should boast. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life through Jesus Christ.